Hi everyone, my name is Milan and the topic of today's video is resiliency. Resiliency means how well your application can handle transient failures and continue functioning normally. I'm going to use the outbox pattern implementation that we created in one of the previous videos to show you how we can add resiliency to our application using an amazing library called Poly. Here I have the process outbox messages job that I created in the outbox pattern video. I mentioned that our execute method, which collects the outbox messages from the database and publishes them using mediator, was purposefully naively implemented. We didn't consider that the publishing of our domain events can fail occasionally. So let's see how we can improve this and add some resiliency to our application. The potential problems that we want to handle could arise when invoking the publish method. There are a few approaches that we can take to make this method call resilient. The first approach that I'm going to show you is going to be very simple. We are just going to introduce a try catch block. Inside of that try catch block, we're going to publish our domain event. So let's move this code into the try block. Now, when an exception is raised, we are catching it inside of the catch block, but we need to add a few more things. I'm going, I'm going to copy the setting of the processed on date into the cache block as well because it won't be executed if we run into an exception here. And I'm also going to set the outbox message error property by calling the toString method on the exception. All right, so what did we get from adding a try catch block? Whenever an exception occurs, when we publish a domain event, we explicitly catch that exception, we log the error, we explicit all right so all right so what did we get all right so what do we get from this implementation whenever an exception is thrown when we are publishing our domain event we are explicitly catching that exception and registering that exception on the error property of the outbox message this does make our outbox implementation resilient to transient errors but we are only publishing each domain event exactly once what if we were to publish the domain event again and this time it would succeed? In essence, what we need is to retry the publishing of our domain events. What you can do to implement retrying of publishing the domain event is to execute this code inside of a loop a few times and eventually you are hoping that the publishing of the domain event will succeed. I'm going to show you a better approach to add resiliency to your applications. And for this, I'm going to add a new NuGet package which is called Poly. Poly is an amazing library that allows us to easily define execution policies with retry mechanisms, circuit breakers, timeouts, and so on built in. I'm going to install it in the application and let's see how we would use it. To define our retry policy with Poly, we access the policy class and we call the handle method, specifying the exception that we want to handle. Let's say we want to handle any exception that is thrown. And now we want to define our actual policy. Let's say we want the retry async policy and we want to retry the publishing of our domain events, for example, three times. We are going to store our policy in a variable. The policy instance contains methods for executing it. The one that we are interested in is the execute and capture async which will return the execution result after our policy completes. The arguments for this method are a function that produces a task. So I'm going to create a Lambda method and I'm going to copy over the code for publishing the domain event and paste it here. And of course we need to await our method call. And we also want to capture the policy execution result in a variable. Ideally, our policy is only going to publish the domain event once, but if there is a transient failure and an exception is raised, it's going to retry publishing the domain event instantly for another three times. And after everything completes, we get some contextual information inside of the policy result variable. Now that we have published our domain event using the retry policy, we want to set the error and processed on property values the error property value is going to come from the result final exception, which is going to be null if the execution of the policy was successful. So I'm going to use the safe access operator to call toString on this exception. 
and we can get rid of the try catch block that we added earlier. So this is how our publishing of outbox messages looks now. We are defining a retry policy that will handle any exception that is raised when publishing a domain event. We are executing our retry policy and publishing the domain event and we are capturing the execution result of this policy which may contain an exception if all of the execution attempts fail. The retry async policy is going to attempt to publish our domain event instantly in case of a failure. Alternatively, you may want to use the wait and retry async method. This one is slightly different. It also accepts a retry count, so let's specify free again. The second argument represents the sleep duration that you want to pass between retry attempts. This is to avoid instantly publishing domain events in case of a failure. Let's say we want to wait 50 milliseconds for the first retry attempt, 100 milliseconds for the second, and 150 for the third one. We can do that by defining a lambda function that is going to accept the attempts that we are currently executing. And let's call the time span from milliseconds method, which will return 50 milliseconds multiplied by the attempt that we are currently on. So here we have defined a wait and retry policy, which will retry the publishing of our domain events three times, but it's going to wait a certain period of time before it attempts to publish the domain event again. This is everything I prepared for you today. I showed you how we can use the poly library to add resiliency to our application by creating a retry policy for publishing our domain events. I invite you to check out the GitHub repository for the poly library because it contains many useful examples that I didn't cover in this video that you might find practical for your applications. If you like this video, consider leaving it a like for the YouTube algorithm so that it can reach a broader audience. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And until next time, stay awesome.